Hey folks, this is Chris with Oregon Figs. It is August 12th, 2023. This fig was actually picked yesterday on the 11th. And I love to pick my figs and let them sit in the refrigerator overnight. And I don't cut them, I just leave them whole in the refrigerator overnight. Then I take them out and I let them get to room temperature and I cut them at that point so that they're really at room temperature, but they've cooled down from that hot temperature that uh, was outside. This is uh, my second tasting video on Roja. First one, I tasted watermelon and caramel. It, I think it was ripened a little longer than this one. Still, this one has that wrinkling and that pretty yellow at uh, the neck. And you can see no latex when I picked it. Really beautiful. So we'll see if I come up with that same profile this time of uh, caramel and watermelon. This one's quite a bit different. Um, I don't get any watermelon. I get more seed crunch. I get pretty heavy seed crunch on this one. I get super creamy texture and the skin is really, really sweet. So this is almost like a different fig. You know, that last one was the first fig off a tree in um, a uh, seven gallon. This is the first fig off of a tree. It's actually technically the third fig off of a tree in 15 gallon. The other two figs, um, I just kind of munched them down. They weren't as good as this one. I don't think they were as good as the very first one. This is the best one yet. It's just a lovely berry, lovely texture, um, moderate sweetness, maybe, maybe not even as sweet as that first one, but it doesn't need any more sweetness because it's got this really delicious mixed berry thing going on. Fairly tight eye. And this is the Brava crop. This is Roja from Montserrat Ponds. Thanks for watching. Be interesting to see how this one's gonna do in ground. What I'm gonna do, I have it in ground and it's doing really poorly in ground. Next spring, I'm gonna dig the one in ground out, put it in a either seven or 15 gallon pot and rejuvenation prune it so that I get a sucker to come up. I'm gonna take the one that I've got in seven gallon, which is a pretty good sized tree. It's up, about up to my chin. And I will plant that one, which is well dignified in ground in its place next year. So really interested to see how these are gonna do in ground and if it will be prolific or not. Hey, thanks for watching. Please take the time to subscribe and like. We'll see you on the next one. I've got I-258 coming up soon. I got three of them and the beautiful Braba. It's the first time I'll ever try that Braba. Okay, take care.